can't lie, that was an event for the zone, Misfit 17. But HS Tiki Toki and Ed Matthews have reacted to his knockout. So let's see what they are saying. And also, let me move my face out of the way. By the way, I'm sorry for not uploading uh, frequently, but I am back on the channel. We will be uploading daily. So please like the video and subscribe. Right, let's get into this though. This is Fred Beck. This Fred Beck is Fred Beck from Fred, Fred Beck. I'm joined by Ed Matthews, Love very it. smart today in a suit in a victorious HS Tiki Toki. Yeah. We'll start with you then. Get your first one out the way. Yeah, it was good. Very quick, brief. He <laughs> went down three world, times. You've been watching my fights. I'm not gonna lie, bro. What the hell was that fight? Can we just talk about that fight? That George guy literally stepped in the ring and didn't even try to throw a jab, bro. Like, I'm sick and tired. Like, fair play to HS Tiki Toki. Don't get me wrong. Good fight, etc. But, bro, I'm tired of seeing fighters go into the ring and not even try, bro. Like, you're not even trying to at least put on a show. You're giving it all this chatter chatter during the week, bro. Like, come on, G, bro. Like, I'm getting sick and tired of it. But anyways, I want to see HS Tiki Toki fight someone else, a much more credible fighter. Let me see who he's going to call out. He's got to call out someone in this video. I mean, it's nine minutes long. He's not do waffle. Let's see if Ed's going to talk about more conspiracy theories. Anyways, enough yapping. Since 2021. I had more adrenaline for his fights than mine. I literally yeah. walked in there no, so bro, relaxed. I felt the same. I felt the same. I had mad adrenaline, bro. Yeah. I can't lie. How did you oh. feel when you were fighting compared to tonight? Like, was you the same as me? Because when I feel like you yeah, felt adrenaline, like in it? No, it depends what. Because I wasn't even listening to music here. No, I was yeah. like, I, I was on a chill one. No, it to was. To be fair, the walkouts are adrenaline. Like, you was very calm going into that. In it. Very calm. I don't know why. I just felt really like really. Re as I got closer, I felt really, really like That's mellowed. You fight, yeah, you fight relax, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, real. you walked Harrison out. Did you feel the adrenaline? Yeah. Bro, <laughs> Like, I've, I've sniffed some lines in my time and <laughs> nothing compares nothing to that. that. <laughs> nothing compares to that. You impressed how smart, you impressed how smart Ed dressed for your fight? Yeah, mate, when he come in, I was like, chee, all right. No, because he called Louis me. Louis shoes. He, he, he called me, he was like, I got a suit. I was like, what? And he, he just comes in looking fresh, like James Bond, bro. Come on. Come on. So what? I know it's a casual question of what's next, but you're injury free, all ready to go in the gym next week. Is that the vibe yeah, we're getting? No, I'm going to be in the gym. I'm going to go back to Marbella. Uh, for a few days training and then go to Barcelona, but I'm gonna keep training. I'm, I'm actually gonna quit weed now. I don't even wanna smoke it. Don't even wanna drink. I just wanna get fit, I'm more shredded and smash some wow. out, man. Make some money. Wow. Come on. How different did it feel to sparring in there? Do your arms feel heavier? Did it feel the same? Oh, I didn't spar. I did five days with Isaiah, smashing the pads, and that was harder than that. But that was a walk in the park. I had my hands down just playing games with him. Right. The him with the pads, I gotta keep my, my arms off. Think See, this is the thing, bro. See what I'm saying? These men are stepping in the ring, yeah? Is George guy stepping in the ring, not even giving it an effort, bro. But I hear it, though. Would you get punched up for a good bag? Would you get punched up for 50K? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what some people are looking at this misfits opportunity. Getting in the ring, getting punched up for like a good, nice 50 to 80K bag and walking home. Bro, it's, it's crazy. Gave you a better spot. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. That's a good point, actually. One more rounds. Um... And then you, you versus Bradley Martin would be an excellent pay for you because I know that Bradley when, wants an M though. Bradley wants an M, so you know. If, that's if, if, yeah. Put your money if, if, up. Yeah, if Mams wants to pull his cheddar out. Let's run it in. Well, let's you, run it you had in the viral wow. moment where you kind of you're walking along zoo culture and he turns into you saying, "What are you saying about me?" Yeah, oh, yeah. And then, do you remember? Yeah, because I'd absolutely do him, and he knows I'd do him. He was just trying to like ego me on live, and I'd fight him then and there. He's another pussy. Right, anyway, let's go watch All the right. fucking fights. We'll there go then. Uh, one, one last for Ed, one last thing actually for you. <laughs> if it right, Ed always kills me, I swear. Ed does like two minutes of the interview and he's like, right, I've had enough. But then he will keep on yapping and yapping. <laughs> Jake Paul next year, but name one fight you want to see HS in before that. Bradley Martin, bro, or and Zarko. I want to see them both get fucking. And could do a tag team at some point if someone wants to take. Ooh, do you know what? Yeah, that'll be good. For Angry Ginge and Danny Aaron, you're oh, both plebs. Bro, we'll bro. fight you in it. You're both plebs. No. What? Huh? Nah. Danny Aarons and Angry Ginge versus HS Tiki Toki and Ed Matthews. The actual, actual. Well, they're, 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 they're here tonight. Ginge going, oh, I hope they both knock each other out. Oh. Like, mate, you're a fucking nerd. You're both a, a bunch mate, of goons. Know, yeah, we can take your girl within honest, one message, bro. No matter what team you I get. I don't even want to touch a bird, innit? Right, bro, but saying, honestly, it? you... You two, man, are moist. Both right. a pair, pair of clowns out there playing Fifi, you little geeks. Get out and get to touch some fucking grass, innit? Lose some weight, mate, innit? All right, there you go. What? Nah. I need, I need an angry Ginge response. I need an angry Ginge reaction ASAP. Nah. We need an angry Ginge reaction ASAP. Isaiah, do you want to come in for a little bit? 
Oh, that went hot. Are you alright? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You're for a little bit. What? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring your uh, You go into the forest to bring oh. it. I'll go into your ear for a little bit. With me? No, no, you can oh, go. You can go. Yeah. Alright, see you out there, bro. Where you gonna be at walking tour? Well, yeah. I think it's your first time on the channel, I think. We, I met before, I think, at this down in the gym. Oh, yeah, yeah, we kind of saw everything. I've been inspired with him as well. Yeah. Uh, Helping my coach, Alexi, and he gave me that this opportunity. Yeah. So I'm very grateful to him. Uh, I like to teach as well, so I'm very good. So you're MMA fighter? Yeah, I'm MMA fighter. Wow. So I, I've been boxing before, like when I was a kid. Now I teach in boxing as well. I love right. to teach as well. So, so that's quite good then. Because you, you, a lot of fighters, they struggle for money. Because until you get to the UFC, you're only getting, you're only getting paid decent money. So the fighters got to make sure they, have, they do a job on the side. Yeah, which is exactly. even extra when you get a coach and stay involved in yeah, it all, you know? Yeah. Teaching the class in the gym, London True Fighters, being around, working in the gym as well. So that keeping me the money to get on the UFC soon, probably in two more fights. And then I like to coach here as well, help coaches, mm -hmm. everything Alexi, what they say, I'm there for, for helping. Hubby, so I can't lie. Look, listen, for the rest of the video, HS Tiki Toki and Ed Matthews have left the building. Now, I'm not gonna lie, you know, like that comment directed to Ginge and Danny is crazy. But look, listen, Angry Ginge in, in the boxing ring, I think that will be, that would really, really, really do well on uh, pay-per-view. Number one, that will be a good fight. I know that I know uh, Ginge is currently on his weight loss transformation journey, so this could even be something that he, you know, might speed that process up, you know, and keep him, you know, on track, losing that weight, etc. You know, because I know he's been very outspoken about him going to the gym, etc., losing weight and stuff. So this could be interesting. Now, a tag team, Danny Aaron's Angry Ginge versus Ed Matthews. And HS Tiki Toki could be good. Not gonna lie. We need to see an Angry Ginge response. I know, I know this clip is probably gonna get sent to Angry Ginge or whatever. It will be good to see a, a response from Angry Ginge. Maybe he might go, you know, nah, I ain't interested, never getting in the ring. Or you might go, do you know what? Fuck it. Might entertain it and let's see what happens. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what you guys think anyways. What do you guys think of that call out? What do you guys think of the boxing scene in general? Also, let me know your thoughts as well on the Danny fight as well. It was a draw. It was a draw. I did see it as a draw, I can't lie. Uh, round one and two, I would I would give that to Danny Simpson for sure. Three and four to Danny, but yeah, I don't know. It was an interesting one, man. It was an interesting one. But let me know what you guys think anyways. And uh, as always, please leave a like on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.